In terms of what the, the role that, that a family plays in society, what do you see that role as being? I see that role as a unit where you feel comfortable living in and comfortable being and growing up as a good person and connecting with other people, understanding them. And I don't think you need a father and a mother to do it. I'm from a divorced family. So am I. I've lived with my mother for most of my life. I grew up with her and I yep. think I grew up with her. What, what is the benefit of redefining your family? Letting people live with who they love and with the person they want to live with and having a happy family. And you know they're going to do it anyway. Because, I mean, if you're gay and you love a woman or you love a man or you love your own sex, you're going to do that anyway. But giving them the like the legal basis and helping them will make everyone feel better. If we allow the family to be anything that people want it to be, okay. yeah? yeah. do you not see how that dilutes the, the, the institution of the family itself? If, if we say that the family is anything okay. that somebody wants it to be, do you not see how that uh, dilutes the idea of the family? Explaining why the, the government is wrong to redefine the marriage in this country. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Have a good day, bro. Take care. Hi, right, fellas. I was, did I, did I like, shut him down a little bit? Did he look like it? Hi guys, is that the government has redefined marriage in this country okay. and it's undermined what the family is. I don't know if you're aware of it, but as Christians we disagree with it. It's the government has redefined what marriage is in this country and has changed the law about what constitutes a family. Well, traditionally what constituted uh, a marriage was between a man and a woman. And now it has been redefined so that it can be any combination of people. And you're against that? Yes, I'm against oh, that. Oh, I'm for it, so... Why, why are you for it? Because I think that a family can be made of any kind of people who love and care about it. I agree that, this, that, 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 a, that a family unit can be people that love one another. But in terms of how we base our laws as a society... Do you not see the danger that that creates in 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 what could be described as rainbow orphans? No, I don't know what rainbow orphans is. So it's it's when it's when people adopt children to fulfill their own personal aspirations, but don't have any biological connection to those children. I'm for adopting children that don't have a warm home and family. Okay. And I'm pro marriage of any kind of person that feels the right to be in a family of their own with the person they love. Why are you filming this? Because this is Speaker's Corner and everyone gets filmed here. Okay. It, 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 if you come to Speaker's Corner, you can expect to be on camera. No, that's okay. But I in don't terms mind of, saying my uh, Of opinion. course not. And, and where are you coming from? What, what's your own belief system? Uh, I'm coming from Israel. You're, you're from Israel? Right. I, I'm guessing by that, are you Jewish? I am. Okay. So, uh, uh, and do you believe in the Torah? Not really. No. Not really. So you're like an atheist Jew. Fair enough. Okay. So, in terms of in terms of um, the definition of the family, if we allow the family to be anything that people want it to be, 
Yeah. Do you not see how that dilutes the, the, the institution of the family itself? If, if we say that the family is anything that somebody wants it to be, do you not see how that uh, dilutes the idea of the family it doesn't. as a concept? I think it does the opposite. I think by letting people define a family as a place where individuals connect to fulfill a unit of people together with children and or without children, with a dog, with a pet, I don't mind, whatever, and can live together sharing and, and loving each other and can, connecting and making a home. I think it's a great thing, no matter if it's a man or a woman, a man and a man, a woman and a woman. So in, in, in terms of in terms of what the, the role that the, a family plays in society, what do you see that role I, I as being? I see that role as a unit where you feel comfortable living in and comfortable being and growing up as a good person and connecting with other people, understanding them. And I don't think you need a father and a mother to do it. I'm from a divorced family. So am I. I've lived with my mother for most of my life. I grew up with her and I yep. think I grew up okay. And I think I would have grown up okay living with two mothers or with two fathers. Well, I think, I think the reality would would draw into question a lot of what you're saying, what you're, you're asserting. Single families are, are in this country, I don't know, maybe the situation is different in Israel. The single families in this country, whilst the people in them are obviously sincere, loving and trying their best, the, 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 the st stats on the ground are clear. Single families tend to be poorer. Single families tend to struggle more. Single families tend to um, have more problems, and I know that from personal experience. I grew up like you. I I, I grew up in a in, in a single single parent family. Now that wasn't my father's choice. That was my mother's choice, and I grew up for a number of years with my mum. My mum tried her best. She she loved us, and, and she, in in so far as she was able, she tried to do the best in every situation that she could. But that didn't stop us from being poor. It didn't stop us from struggling. So, so, well, but the point is that the point is the idea that that the state should not not try to support a family unit has led to a situation where, because the family can be anything that the state wants it to be or what people want them to be, you have family units like single parents where the people are trying their best but they're struggling. It's not like single parents, excuse me, you have two people who are both acting as parents, those families won't have less money because there's two parents that are making money and earning their living and I think it will be the same as any other family with two parents that are making their money and having living, you know, their life. And, Moreover, I don't think it's any kind of family unit because I'm sure that I'm not, I don't know because I'm a tourist, but I'm sure that English people and Britain doesn't uh, take into consideration every kind of family. I guess it's only about gay marriages and I'm very poor people to be living comfortably and doing whatever they want with the person they love. I, 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 and you mustn't understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to you suggest. You're saying they'll be poor, you're saying they'll have problems, no, you're saying on. they all fit. They, that was, they I was using, hold on, I was using single parents as an example there, and actually the, the facts do show that. That there will be more single parents? No, that single parents tend to struggle more in terms of the responsibilities of raising and providing for their children. Not because they don't want to. How is gay marriage right. single parents? So it's connected to the idea that we can construct the family based upon whatever assertion we have. So we're okay. saying that the, the state shouldn't support a family unit, that the family unit is whatever a, a group of people decide is them for themselves they should. as a family. If it's a group of people that are married and live together happily and are exactly the same as any other couple, they should support them. So, so what authority does the state have to define an institution that existed before the state? Well, things change all the time, and today? there were many. Yeah, today, and there were many bad things before the state was was uh, founded, and they changed them too. There was more. I don't know. They they used to kill. Or there were more thieves, or there you know there were many bad things before. Now they have changed things, do you, do you and think, I think they've changed things for the good. So, in in what what is the benefit of redefining the family? Letting people live with who they love and with the person they want to live with and having a happy family. And you know they're going to do it anyway because I mean if you're gay and you love a woman or you love a man or you love your own sex, you're going to do that anyway. But giving them the like the legal basis and helping them will make everyone feel better. Okay, you, you, you think that that makes everyone feel better? It makes everyone have a better life, a better quality life. Does it? So, 
I think so. It's those people, the, the gay people, the gay uh, community. I think it's true. Okay, so in terms in terms of the benefit to society. Yeah. What? In you guys okay? We're going. We're going. Yes. In, in, in terms, in, in terms, in terms of, in terms of the family, a society that, a society that does not support a, a clear understanding of the family unit is a society that ultimately we, we see the fruits of that society here in the UK we're following that kind of social policy that you're describing and it's not working we have we have we have an increase in mental health issues we have an increase in poverty we have an increase in it's just not it just doesn't function so I, I, I'm handing out these leaflets talking about um, why the redefinition of marriage is something that Christians don't agree with and that we are opposed to. What I want to be clear is that I am not trying to suggest that there is some kind of um, immorality behind the idea of love. I understand that people don't choose their sexuality and that they cannot control their sexuality. I, I, I could no more expect someone who's homosexual to be straight as I could expect myself to become homosexual. It isn't a matter of will, there's something else happening, something deep and profound. However, society has to choose where it's going to invest its resources for the benefit of that society. And the family serves as the first police force, it serves as the first welfare state, it serves as the first school, it serves as the first um, mental health institution, the social care, and it also produces the next generation. So the state must decide what are its priorities. And whilst I am not arguing or advocating for any kind of criminalization, what I am saying is that the state has taken a misstep by redefining the family in a way that includes single parents, um, that includes uh, homosexual couples, that allows them to be married and, and puts that on bar with the marriage between a man and a woman. The marriage between a man and a woman and the marriage between a homosexual couple has many overlaps. They can both serve in the same process. But a child in an ideal situation must have a both masculine and feminine figure in their lives. Single parents don't do that. I come from a single parent family. Homosexual couples of either combination don't do that. Polyamorous relationships don't do that. The, the structure of society in this country has been undermined by this redefinition and by this laissez-faire attitude that says that the family can be anything that makes us happy. And what it also does, in certain cases, not in all cases, but in certain cases it turns children into a commodity. We know, for example, that, that groups, that there have been arrangements where people rent out their womb to have a child for someone else. This is turning a child into a commodity. A child must be born of love, ideally, where that child can be born in a loving, stable relationship. And that means supporting the family as defined as man and woman.